Well, well, well. Look where we are. Yeah, I'm gonna fly. <laughs> Keep that in. We're back in Inverness, baby. And the tiniest airport you've ever seen in your life. Welcome. We're up here. Like it was just yesterday that we were looking yeah. for uh, enterprise car hire. So, uh, Duncan, can you can you remember what way we have to go? I think we've got to like go into the bushes over there. <laughs> I do think, yeah, I think there's some bushcraft going on. Where are we supposed to go now? Just keep walking. We had this problem last time, this is deja vu. Classic start of the vlog, us unable to find the fucking car. Yep. Uh, it's good to be back in the motherland. It's in that corner. Is this when they release the hounds? Oh. Yeah. The sirens start blaring. Well, it's okay, the hounds in Scotland are just Scotty dogs, they're only little. No. No, no. <laughs> no, actually, yeah, they're little still. They, they got little tartan coats. Little Highland <laughs> Terriers. <laughs> Did they come with tins of shortbread? Yeah. Fuck, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> they just carry them with them. Parkour. Careful, the stingy nettles. Nature's barbed wire. Yep. And a shitty ditch. Yep. Enterprise car, you got that. I mean, we did that in about five minutes. Last time we were in for about five hours. Yeah, we waited on that bus forever, man. Yeah, we, it's not often you have to go over a fence or no. a bush to get to your car. Turn the key. Is there, a is there a button on the key? <laughs> is there something you had on the steering wheel, maybe? What is this car? Kia Sportage. Kia, Kia Sportage. <laughs> and on. Is it maybe it is on? And I'll just go into first. Okay. No, surely you'd hear it. You can't hear anything as quiet as the grave. It's not. <laughs> 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 so. Clutch and brake and key. Simple as that. Do you want me to edit this so that it just looks like you knew exactly what you were doing? That's what we're going to do. I don't fucking know. Like, like, <laughs> that's not how my car works. We're going to Stotfield Hotel. Stotfield Hotel. Yeah. IV31 6QS. We've just arrived at our hotel. We're in Lossie Mouth this time, not Bucky, which is nice. We can put in this lovely building, which is arguably a lot nicer looking on the outside than the last place we stayed in. And we're not across from a fishery, we're across from a golf club, so <laughs> can't grumble. And we can see the water if we go all about this way. Later that same evening. How fucking miserable and shit is it here? This is so shit compared to Bucky. <laughs> <laughs> we moaned about Bucky. I'm fucking salt. Dude. Bucky was great. <laughs> Yeah. There was a fucking nightclub. Yeah. You can't even fucking see there's a bar. There's gotta be a pub right here, right? Yeah, there's a pub. A, a pub is incoming. It's just barren. <laughs> there's New Sunrise, which closes at 11, which is a Chinese. Right. And then there's a pub that's open till half 12, right around the corner. Do they do food? Not by the looks of it. No, that's not good. Okay, right. I, mean, I might do crisps. <laughs> Yes, Scottish, Scottish meal. Are we Chineseing or are we pizzaing? Uh, well, whatever's closest, I guess. Yeah. Uh -huh. Whatever's closest, I guess. Oh, are they? Oh. Let's, let's look at them and see which one looks the less grim. Mm. We can just sit and eat it on that park bench in the pissing rain. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? We eat Chinese food at the side of the road. Oh, yeah. Falling over. We're um, in Port, we? Port Gordon. Port Gordon. Port Gordon. Port Gordon. And um, we're looking for seals. Yeah, which we have spotted a couple just off the coast. We're on a seal there. walk this morning. I, I love seals. We, we're going to yeah, look at some seals. seals. Cute, and uh, yeah. we want to see them. Oh, hello. What? Seal. Oh, damn, seal right, right there. there. Oh, awesome. <laughs> so seals feed on fish. And then they get big fat bellies and need to come ashore and digest them. Oh. Our uh, North American team does a lot of work with seals because mm -hmm. um, we've got a permit to monitor a stretch of coastline on the Massachusetts coast. Oh, really? And we do marine mammal rescue and response. 
So any whale, dolphin, porpoise or seal that is found kind of stranded or in trouble on the coast in that section, we've got a team that has a hotline and they respond and they go out in their truck to go and see what they can do to help and then to monitor the animal, help refloat them if it needs to be floating. Yeah, we do lots of stuff, so we help seals as well. Aww. Aww. <laughs> there's like a hundred over there. There's one in the water, literally. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, he's adorable. So many, like straight away, we barely just parked. <laughs> It's so cute. They're really great, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Bloody great, I love them. <laughs> this is this is the shit. Just some seal boys just lying around. This is the dream. This is what I want to do. I wish I was a seal. Lie down there, feeling great. There's nothing stopping you, Ravs. Be free, go on. I could do it. I could do it. Don't want to scare the seals. Very yeah. happy, very happy. They're just so happy. They're just chill, yeah, they're chill, so chill, chill, chill lads. I'm jealous of them, honestly. <laughs>
It sounds like a bird. It does sound like a bird, doesn't it? It's kind of a cool place, but like, yeah, it's also a bit, a bit quiet. We're not doing breakfast at the hotel tomorrow. I want to go to a cafe and get you boys a square sausage, because we didn't do that last time. Square sausage, I'm telling you, it's a life-changing experience. It's, it's good shit. Better be. Well, you've been yeah. bigging this up for years. I have been. It's, it's the fucking best thing you can get from Scotland. It's the creme. Years. It's the creme de la creme. It is the pinnacle of Scottish cuisine. The square sausage. It's great. Is it like a pizza crunch quality? Oh, pizza crunch is pretty banging. It's better than pizza crunch. Pizza crunch is great if you like, you know, dying with high cholesterol. But you know, square sausage. It's good shit. You're gonna be like Frank at the end of Always Sunny. You're just gonna go. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> we are back at the WDC Wayland Dolphin Centre in Spay Bay up in Scotland. Here to visit again to see what's changed since the last time we were here and also to see what plans we have for the future. Uh, so we're going to head in in a moment and, you know, to be the same. Scottish Dolphin Centre. We're here. Let's go. It's really nice to see you guys again. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's good to be back. Since you were last here, we've been busy working with the exhibition designers to figure out what we're going to do with the exhibition mm -hmm. space, um, funded by Jingle Jam, of course. Okay. So we've got a concept design to show you. Oh and wow! And it starts by making much more of an entrance to the exhibition yeah. because mm -hmm. it's not always clear what it actually <laughs> is as it is now. They're going to have stickers on the windows that like mock up what this used to be like 150 oh, right. years ago oh, okay. to show the heritage. I think this bit we're really excited about because it's going to be a pod that you sit in, put earphones on, listen to whale and dolphin sounds and there'll be like a porthole in the floor that okay. you can look down oh. and watch whales and dolphins swimming about while oh. you're listening. Oh, wow, that sounds great. great, yeah. This is like an aluminium kind of circle that you're uh -huh. in and the lighting reflects really well off oh, it. Oh, that's going to be good. So the designer said he's used it before and the effect is a bit like you're underwater. Okay, okay. That, okay. Sounds, that, that sounds really cool. cool. Yeah. You remember seeing all the whale and dolphin bones that yeah. we've got at yeah, the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, remember so those, yeah. They've got an idea to mount them on the wall so people can still touch interact them, with them, still and interact stuff, with yeah. them. And then behind them have a life-size skeleton of a dolphin drawn. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see, yeah. So then we'll be much easier to say, this is the ear. Right, so you yeah. have the bones the mounted. You've got like a reference for it. Yeah, yeah. 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 In the back corner, we'll have life cameras. Still. Yeah. So onto the bay and onto the yeah. river. And also a big, nice monitor that will show information about WDC's campaigns as well. And we've also got this mock up of what the first interactive um, boards will look like. Mm -hmm. So they're going to cover the whole wall rather than just being stuck on yeah. as they are now. Yeah use this really beautiful imagery, talk about the different threats that whales and dolphins face around the world, and then this is going to be a life-size bottlenose dolphin, so like nearly four metres long, so okay. people can get yeah. an idea of how massive they are. The plan is to get it all installed in December when we mm -hmm. close for the season, so mm -hmm. when we reopen in 2024 it'll be ready to go. Excellent. So. It's been really amazing, really beneficial having your support and your help with the education programme. We've had 12 schools able to make visits to us earlier in the year. So That's fantastic. Uh, oh, yeah. it, it was brilliant. And I honestly can say that um, I think we would barely have had any able to actually make a visit if it wasn't for your help. We love our dolphins here and watching out for them, of course. Mm. We have so much other amazing wildlife on our doorstep mm. too. So uh, of course. we do things um, like river rambles, looking for lots of other wildlife as well, learning a bit about the history of the area too, through looking in the ice house, um, exploring our beach, uh, learning more about plastic pollution and how the kids can help. So we do it with lots of fun activities, some games and things. Um, and a lot of the kids made little pledges of a little promise of what they think they could do Aww. to help protect whales <laughs> and dolphins from litter. And we've got some of them in the centre on a nice little display board to inspire our visitors to kind of do the same as well. So yeah, we wouldn't have been able to do all that or have these schools visit without your incredible support. So thank you all so much. <laughs> thank you for <laughs> educating all yeah. the children because it's a good thing to get them started early on this kind of stuff. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. Look at my big dumb boy. 
Has he got a name? He's got his big fat belly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I love him. Oh <laughs> it's a, it's oh a sperm whale, I think. Oh, look, can I interest you in other fleshy friends? Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm a big dumb boy. <laughs> I love it. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is it for me. This is for Sally. Oh. Yeah, this is the game. So she's got a name. Oh, I don't get that say. <laughs> well, well, well. Hello, Sally. Hello. This is a gift for yourself. No. Oh. So when you look that. There you go. Yeah. He's here as hell. Take him on with you. I saw you eye on him. That is the one you were looking at, yeah? I'm yeah. Take him with you. I love him. Take him with you. Zero, okay? Oh, thank you so much. No, thank you for having us. Like honestly. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Don't get us a daft and Humphrey. <laughs> Dolphin spotted. <laughs> Bird's eye view. Yo! Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh, we're just chilling out. Beautiful. That's so cool. On their way to the bay. We are at the harbour side, I'm going to say Bristol harbour side, we're not in Bristol. No, we're, we're in Lossiemouth. We're in the Lossiemouth harbour side. Scotland. Where we were at last time. Mm. We think we've located a place that does square sausage. We also <laughs> are on a time limit. Brad sounds like he's, <laughs> if he doesn't get square sausage, he might actually die. I may. I, I, I need it for sustenance. <laughs> I need it, like, I've not had it in like a year. So, if I don't have some, I'll get violent. Okay. I'll well, stab someone. Let's go get a square sausage then. Yeah, let's do it. We've just ordered a full Scottish breakfast for all of us, which will definitely have Warren sausage in it. We checked, and you know, you were saying I, you I should have got it in a roll. Well, I think that having a roll and square sausage is the most optimal, best way to eat it. If it's a Morton's roll, it is phenomenal, but it's still going to taste good. What? What do you mean? I just, I just can't, can't imagine um, this cheap. Cheap processed sausage meat being the revolution or revelation mm -hmm. that Rouse is saying it's going to be. Saying it's cheap meat. I'm saying it's probably kind of something like processed sausage meat with spices. I can't imagine it being as special as you're saying it's going to be. Why do you think Scottish people go so fucking crazy for this thing? Like, it must be good. Dude, because you didn't get any real food up here. <laughs> it's all fucking deep fried shit. Yeah, all right, fucking Devon boy, eat your marmite. <laughs> okay, so here we are, full Scottish. Wow. I think there's a chance I might eat 10% of this. Full Scottish, they've got Warren sausage, beautiful. Is that what it is? Beautiful, crisp Warren. Is, that, is, this, is this what you've been going on about? Going on about the whole time? Yeah, that's what I've been going on about, mate. This? Yeah. It looks like corned beef. Sample it raw. Go on, get, get that in your gob. I mean, it just tastes like a sausage. It does not just taste like sausage. It tastes like you a fucking Richmond sausage. Mm. Well, you have a fucking, you have a link there, so compare. I mean, it's nice enough. What the fuck? I'm gonna smash this camera. <laughs> it just tastes like... It's fine, yeah. Yeah. You guys are crazy. It's fine. You guys are crazy. I don't feel like the heavens have opened. This one looks, this one looks nice. What's this? Yeah, you're damn mate, that's haggis. I hate haggis. <laughs> you don't like haggis. That's really horrible. Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> I want the French toast. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It, it's not. It's fine. I, I hate both of you. It's not. I never it's not, it's not bad. It's not. It's definitely better than the haggis. I know. I, I quite like the haggis. I'm not going to eat any more of <laughs> It's not that bad. It's really tasteful. What? I don't know what's wrong. Maybe mine's rock different. <laughs> What do you mean? Right. You're spat in yours. <laughs> it's fucking around. Get a bit of beans involved in that, don't you? It's around. Get a bit of beans involved there. It's fine. It's fine. I hate both of you. I hate both of you. Sorry. Sorry, Russ. It's great. I wouldn't cook it at home. You wouldn't cook that? No, I will order it again. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Alright, I'm fucking out of here. <laughs> Fuck these bitches. Peace. <laughs>so this is an ancient battlefield big battle against uh, jack jack o lanterns no um, <laughs> who are they fighting the jacobites were fighting the red coats the red coats do they have guns or swords red well, coats red coats had guns. guns yeah i assume they won no shit <laughs> obviously <laughs> Fifteen hundred men were slain. That was a lot. Fifteen hundred of them were Jacobites. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <Oof. you're> <laughs> if, if, we've got an Englishman here and a Scotsman, so if you want to reenact re it? Want to recreate it? Yeah. I'll get a gun. You get the sword and the <laughs> skirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, oh, the man with the sword beats you. <laughs> I have a musket though, and I don't trust you to hit with one shot. <laughs> You're gonna have to go like, wank your gun off, and I'll be charging you. Let's see, is there a resemblance? What's his face like? He's screaming. I don't know, like yours. Open wider with teeth showing. No. <laughs> oh. Southwest, Devon, Cornwall, Hampshire. Here we are. Can you got some, you got some Jacobite in you? I'm on the Jacobite side now. Oh. Glasgow is Hannah Vivian. Can I get you a kilt too? <laughs> I'm on the other side. Oh, oh no. so you are enemies. I'm on the other side. Of the table. Table. Have changed. <laughs> 12 guys from Glasgow. Like, Southeast like, England, so I guess I'm probably on the other side as well. Oh, yeah. They're said of all the towns in Britain, Glasgow rang its bells the loudest after hearing from the government army one year at the other. Oh. I'll just leave you guys with that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Oh my god. Fucking Tory. No! <laughs> How dare you? I can't believe that. There must be a reason. There must be a reason for why. You love the king. No, that can't be right. No. <laughs> the king. I thought when he asked, what were they fighting over, you were going to chip in and say, trousers or skirts? <laughs> well, There's an age old debate trousers versus skirts. <laughs> Just got my certificate. I can't really show you right now because it's all neatly wrapped up, but just found out that my family is of English descent. Uh, I kind of already knew that, but they were on the Scottish border, so, you know, still pretty Scottish. Still pretty Scottish. A lot of the like, famous people in my family as well, like a bunch of like, athletes and musicians and stuff. I'm gonna have to have a read of this later on. They would pretty, for England, though. pretty cool, yeah. yeah. You're yeah. English, like me. Jo welcome you're to the. Jones, you're Welsh. <laughs> welcome to the club. Oh god, maybe I am. You're Jones, the Welsh name. It is. And your first name's Duncan. Yeah. And I've joined Matt with the Italians. No. <laughs> so apparently Benzi is from, uh, found in Ferrara, a city and commune in Emilia Romagna, northern Italy. Oh, that's where we're from. Um, up was north. at war with Venice. Maybe you're no. <laughs> War with Venice? Yeah, apparently. Yeah, bloody Venetians. <laughs> Hello. It's freedom of snow acts. Yeah? Yeah. So we're at, we're at the end of our journey, aren't we? This is the end. Uh, it's been really good. We're back in a in a garden, in a pub, yeah. just like last time. <laughs> no ducks this time, no. Uh, no. no ducks. We have got a lot of cars. Yeah, we've got all the cars. We've got the, yeah, the snow goose. That's, that's, that's kind of a, a duck. Kind yeah. of a duck, in a way. Um, it's been a very fun trip. Uh, we just ate a lot of food. Mm. Our flight is delayed. Um, yeah, as is tradition. <laughs> as is tradition. The lounge is going to be shut when we get to the airport this time, so no fun for us. Ooh. I know. What was your favourite part of the trip, Duncan? I like the whiskey. The whiskey? <laughs> and then seeing dolphins again was amazing. Mm -hmm. Seal Beach. Love, I love a good seal. I love how they blob around. Like, mm. The way they move up land is so They cute. look like it's living plushies. Thing. Like jelly beans, aren't they? Jelly, jelly beans. Yeah. I think mm. Mainz is the is definitely the ripple. It was so fun. The seal walk was great as well, being so close to the seals. No secret, I love seals. They're like my favourite animal. It was an amazing time. Yeah. 
What about you? Who's your favourite part? Um, well, the dolphins, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, but I also really liked the battlefield that we went to this morning. Mm. The Globen battlefield. The tour guide was just really he, good. He was so good. Such I liked a good storyteller. So yeah. 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 Make you start watching it, Orlando now. Just <laughs> I was thinking that. that. Well, apparently, yeah. it's not yeah. like it's <laughs> wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's wrong, but it's vaguely real. Related. Well, we can sit there and go, that's no, not yeah. right. We know yeah. what we're actually Yeah, happening. actually, yeah. true. Yeah. And I found out that my family are English. <laughs> <laughs> that's, is that like kind of devastating? A little bit. I kind of, <laughs> I kind of like knew Whitten was a, an English surname. I, I, I wonder but, if your, your family fought for the. Uh, the, the monarchy. Well, I'm gonna have to do one of these ancestry dot coms or like uh, 23 and Me or whatever the hell it's called. I'm gonna have to do one of those and like go down all my ancestors and figure out what what they did. Because if I find out that any of my family <laughs> fought for the the royal family, <laughs> I'll be raging. My whole life will have been all I. <laughs> I thought I was Scottish, and then I thought I was Italian, and then I googled it again, and I'm definitely Scottish. <laughs> so, who knows? You were Italian I'm for all of an hour. Yeah. <laughs> an interesting hour. Yep. Well, yep. In that case, we'll, yeah, we'll wrap you, it up. See you back in see you Bristol. In Bristol. Rainy Bristol. If we if yeah. we remember to film again. See you yeah, in we Bristol. didn't last time. We won't. We probably no. won't remember. <laughs> so, so this is probably goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs>